Well, Masami, it's, it's such a pleasure to have you here on the Social Entrepreneurship and Innovation Podcast. And for folks who may not be familiar, would you mind introducing yourself and, and sharing with us a little bit as to what it is that you do? Oh, hi, I'm uh, Masami from B1J1. And so uh, B1J1 is a global giving movement where businesses from around the world come together to make a, a positive impact in the world. So um, since you know, 2007, we've worked with thousands of businesses uh, coming from more than 40, probably five countries. And uh, with us, uh, they get to choose to um, contribute and ef give effectively to hundreds of a high impact project in the world um, and uh, together you know those small businesses many of them very tiny businesses have created more than 200 to 10 million giving impacts to date in which include things like planting trees or giving access to water and so on um, so that's b1j1 and uh, um, I'm Japanese as well from my name you might guess um, and uh, entrepreneur for many years <laughs> And, and, and so I, I guess I'd love to start there. As uh, I mentioned, I was doing my research beforehand. Uh, you've, you've done a, a, a healthy amount of public speaking. You've authored four books at this point. B1G1, from what I understand, was not your first business that you started. You're a mother of two. I, I'm just wondering yes. <laughs> how, uh, uh, how are you, you accomplishing so much? How are you staying so focused, productive, and, and driven? <laughs> Actually, that's funny to hear this like productive and focused and uh, driven part. Yeah, I think I'm <laughs> pretty driven, but productive and focused, sometimes I'm not too <laughs> sure. So interestingly, um, I was doing kind of like my own self-reflection and, uh, you know, feedback receiving uh, mm -hmm. as a leader uh, in my organization. And then one thing I thought to myself was, uh, I want to become more focused <laughs> and <laughs> productive. So that, that was the two things <laughs> I want to improve more um, but let me tell you a little bit about my background so um, so I wasn't so like you know uh, goal driven or result focused in my own endeavor but I've been very lucky to be given so many you know great opportunities to continue to learn and meet and connect and work with amazing people um, ar from around the world so when I was um, young I was very shy quiet child so I would never imagine one day I would be speaking on a podcast <laughs> with somebody from you know, half halfway around the world so I wouldn't have imagine that and plus I couldn't speak English um, you know when I first left Japan at the age of 20 um, what happened was um, you know one thing I had was a curiosity so I traveled around the world at a young age backpacking uh, and during that time I learned to connect with people in a very new way because I was very shy and I wasn't outspoken so I didn't tend to be open but then when I was traveling and being totally vulnerable uh, there was no other option to not to ask for help or <laughs> you know meet and uh, connect with people and try to learn from them so it was a remarkable experience but at the same time I started to see so many things in the world that didn't make sense to me such as kids not going to school or people with disability not being supported or living on the street or uh, environmental distractions that we seem to be creating um, even though that was creating a lot of problems for ourselves. So mm -hmm. I wondered why those things were happening. And then eventually, um, years after that, when I became a mom for the first time, uh, and that was like 20 years ago, <laughs> and holding <laughs> this little baby um, in my arm, uh, that was the first time I thought about all the things I learned and saw, then I thought I wanted to do something. So that's when I started my um, first business and became an entrepreneur. <laughs> and so then what is it like now, uh, 13 years, I guess, in the B1G1 and the, mm -hmm. the really impressive uh, giving statistics there in the community of businesses over 2,500, you said the, the over 210 million uh, giving impacts made. What, what's it like to, to be in that position and to 
see that that scope of of impact and in, in communities that uh, B1G1 has touched. Um, so I think the interesting thing is that I probably like I'm um, today feeling not so differently from when we started Interesting. because day one when we didn't have anything we didn't have a cool system or uh, so many variety you know so many projects or so many businesses working with us or so many impacts to say we've achieved this you know even at that time I think the sense of connection and inspiration and uh, meaning was there because when I, I, I remember when I spoke about B1J1 for the first time and invited business people in the room to join in this mission. Mm -hmm. And then that day when we didn't have anything, like we didn't, you know, we, I couldn't say there's a list of features that you get to access or anything. But when I talked about how I felt and what we wanted to work on and invited the people to come together. And then the, so many business people in the room said, yeah, like I, I think that's a great mission and uh, it's worth achieving and I'm in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then when kind of like that day too, I felt so inspired by the spirit of um, giving and desire of the people to give because giving is not the necessary thing for businesses to do <laughs> you know, the, the primary uh, objective of business seems to be uh, that we have to maximize the profit of our company mm -hmm. like so that's what we were taught uh, and that's what business school students were taught to do so um, making money is important, but giving the money away, that hard-earned money away, is not a requirement, except the tax. <laughs> so, um, it's inspiring always to see how actually people have this desire to do something meaningful, help others, serve, make a positive impact. And so, the, on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm continuously feel uh, feeling empowered and inspired. Um, when we get to talk with these people or just to see how that small giving impacted somebody's life 